More than 10,000 COVID-19 cases in Korea just 74 days after the first case. The pandemic has resulted in huge social costs. To alleviate some of those costs, there have been calls for the disclosure and verification of the performance of what is known as Primer, a core substance of amplifying genes to diagnose the coronavirus. After a specimen is taken from a person's mouth, a certain part of the viral genes is amplified. Primers, a short nucleic acid sequence that attaches to certain viruses, play a key role in diagnosing the virus. When a virus is detected through gene amplification, a fluorescent substance appears to show if the test is positive or negative. The primer, used to detect COVID-19 cases in Korea, has been developed recently by the Institute for Basic Science. It enables to see test results in just four hours. The institute disclosed the nucleic sequence of the primer and the results of its research to the Korea Society for Brain and Neural Science. The institute is receiving many inquiries from overseas as its primer allows even ordinary research facilities to easily detect COVID-19 in asymptomatic people. The disclosure of the primer used in diagnostic kits is expected to help reduce social costs. However, in Korea, the performance of primers and their evaluation data are not disclosed properly because they are regarded as businesses' intellectual property. 세금이 들어가는 것들은 공개가 투명되거든요. 검증도 들어가고 또 개선할 예정이기 때문에 연기세를 가진 그 프라임으로 쓰는지는 반드시 국민에게 알려야 되고요. Experts point out that primers and their performance evaluation should be verified thoroughly to prepare for viral mutations and to enhance diagnostic accuracy.